Uh, so the question is, how can I make ghusl quickly? So <coughs> ghusl <coughs> is very simple and you can do it in five minutes flat easily. So the first question you ask yourself, do I have any impurity on my body? Right? Uh, have you been bleeding or anything? If there's any sort of impurity, uh, you wash that off first, right? So the 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 sunnah is like you perform an istinja first as well. Um, so in that you can remove impurities. But if there's any other impurity, you wash that off first. <clears throat> then uh, you make a wudu, right? Uh, you make a wudu, and then um, you just pour water over yourself. You know, three times you can rub yourself, and it goes. You know, make sure the moisture goes all over your body. Done. Right, that's a quick one. Let me explain to you though. So the first thing you take care of is removing any sort of uh, najas on your body, the impurity. Remove that. Okay, after that, um, let's say, you know, you need to do it really quickly. There's like 10 minutes before the end of Fajr. Then after that, what you need to ensure is that you cover the fara'id of wudu, the fard elements of wudu. One is rinsing the mouth and two, the nose. So you don't need to gargle, you don't need to do anything like that. Just get some water, put it in your mouth, rinse it around, just slosh it around. What you would do in wudu is sufficient, the same water up your nose, just put your finger in, um, <coughs> clean it up, done. And after that, you make sure that your entire body is wet. And it's really easy, especially if you've got a shower head or something like that. It's very easy. Just uh, pour the water over yourself, over yourself, and just just rub your body, and done. Um, the same is just put your hand underneath your belly button for a second, done. Um, and just 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 rub yourself, and you can do it in two minutes easily. And that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Just removing any sort of najasa. This is a quick whistle where you don't have much time. Otherwise. Study the, the laws of fiqh and, you know, learn how the, the prophetic way is. Because I guarantee you, when you do things the way the Prophet did them, it benefits you. It brings benefit. It changes your heart. It benefits you. Any sunnah that you apply, there's good in it and there's benefit in it. Just tell yourself, this is how the Messenger of Allah did it, as you're doing it. Re recall him doing it this way. You will benefit tremendously. But if you really, really need to... Um, <clears throat> If you're pressed for time, then remove any sort of najasa. If there is any, rinse your mouth, rinse your nose, and just wet your body. Make sure the water travels all over your body. Uh, and just rub. And the, the good thing is that you can pour a little bit of water somewhere. And with your hand, when you wipe over it, it will transfer that moisture over. Done. And you could be done really quickly. The same thing is, uh, let's say you woke, woke up really late. Um, there's only a few minutes uh, for Fajr to end. Just do a quick wudu if you need to. Worst case scenario. Otherwise, like I said, follow the sunnah, which is what? Just wash your face. You know, just wash your entire face once. Get the moisture there. Uh, your right arm from the fingertips, uh, just past the elbow, left arm, uh, arm as well. Wipe your head and wash your feet up to the ankles. Be done. Right. And that's the easiest way to do it. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah